Hi, I'm John Green, and this is Crash Cross World History. Today we will discuss the topic of the Northern Renaissance, especially pertaining to its spread to Northern Europe. But first, we must take note of how the Renaissance began, all the way down in the boot of Italy, and made its way up to Northern Europe. The Renaissance was an unprecedented intellectual, cultural, and artistic flourishing of the 15th and 16th century. It began after the Black Plague, a disease that left Europe devastated, killing almost two-thirds of the country's population. The Renaissance started in the Italian city-states. The writings, paintings, sculptures, and architectures were introduced into Italy. The Renaissance was a great time for Italy. The rich families in the city-states improved economics and revived the beauty and lavishness of the Renaissance. Before this time, during the Middle Ages, spending money frivolously was looked down upon, especially since people were not as wealthy. However, during the Renaissance, some people had a lot of money to spare, like the Medici family in Europe. It is those wealthy people who became benefactors of the arts during that time. They were the ones who funded the artists and who revolutionized art and changed the way we paint today. The Renaissance not only had an impact on the lives of people back then, but also continues to impact the lives of people nowadays. Some long-lasting effects from the Renaissance artists are that they set the standards of art for the artist today. A few famous artists include, and there's a lot, hang in there, Leonardo da Vinci, who drew Mona Lisa, Michelangelo di Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni, that's a mouthful, or known as Michelangelo, who painted on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, Sandro Botticelli, known for his painting of the birth of Venus, Raffaello Sanzio, known for his multiple paintings of Mother Mary, and finally, the brothers Gentile and Giovanni Bellini. These two brothers, the Bellinis, had many students which include Giorgione, Tintoretto, and the best of all the Bellini students, Titan. Apart from these famous artists, there were a few famous sculptors. A few are Giberti and Donatello. Before we dive into the main topic, we will identify the mystery letter. Hmm, is this a picture of Albert Durer? Durer was a famous artist and writer who was known for helping the spread of the Renaissance to Northern Europe. In 1494, Durer traveled to Italy, where he went to study the works of many famous Italian masters. Once he returned, he employed the techniques and styles he had learned in Italy to his work in Northern Europe. Many Northern Europe painters saw Durer's work and copied the style. This played a major role on the transition of Renaissance to Northern Europe. Some of Durer's famous works include Durer's Rhinoceros, Melancholia I, Young Hair, Adam and Eve, a self -portrait, and a self-portrait of him at the age of 20. He also wrote many books, including Great Woodcuts and Human Figure. All of this is why Durer became known as the Leonardo of the North. Even though the Renaissance in Italy began in the 1300s, Durer did not even travel to Italy until 1454. There are many reasons why it took longer for the Renaissance to spread to Northern Europe. One of them is because the Black Plague hit Northern Europe harder than it did so in other places. So it took longer for Northern Europe to recover. In addition to this, the Hundred Years' War was taking place in Northern Europe. While Italy had enough money to pay painters and sculptors, Europe had to direct all of its funds towards the wars, thus deterring the spread of uh, the Renaissance. Also, the Renaissance spread primarily through the means of trade. And since Italy was a peninsula and had easy access to water, it was a trading center where ideas flourish. Another thing that slowed the spread of the Renaissance to Northern Europe was feudalism. Feudalism was more popular in Northern Europe and created tension between the nobles and monarchy. With feudalism in place and everyone strictly confined to their class, there were not many people willing to introduce new ideas. In addition, the Roman Catholic Church had a greater influence on the people in Northern Europe, specifically around France. While other parts of Europe were experimenting with new ideas and thoughts, France and the rest of Northern Europe were under the control of the Catholic Church who weren't all that pleased with the idea of the Renaissance. This, like the other factors, is a reason why it took longer and was harder to spread the Renaissance to Northern Europe. The Northern Renaissance indicates the new age or rebirth in the rest of Europe. As mentioned before, Durer brought the artistic part of the Renaissance to the North. In addition to masterful works of art, the Renaissance also brought an intellectual period of improvement. There are many revolutionary inventions and concepts that were introduced in the North. 
For example, in 1440, the printing press was invented in the Holy Roman Empire by Johannes Gutenberg. Originally, the Chinese had a printing system that had characters reversed on wooden letters. However, this was a long and tedious process that was not quite as useful as pr the printing press and it hadn't been introduced to Europe yet. So the printing press allowed for books to be able to be created faster and cheaper. This greatly helped the spread of the Renaissance to Northern Europe because it made access to knowledge much easier. Books became much more popular after the printing press was invented. Some books became an icon for any man to read. One book would include Castiglione's book, The Courtier, which depicted a picture of the ideal Renaissance man. A courtier in this time was a master in not only one but many fields of expertise. Artists known to us today were not only painters, but actually also sculptors, architects, and many other art-based professions. The other iconic book was The Prince by Machiavelli, which articulates how a royal should control business. He said a prince should be very selfish, ruthless, practical, and realistic. He said a prince should also be someone who recognizes trouble. The courtier and the prince address how a man should be and what he should be able to represent. Before the printing press, all books had to be handwritten, and therefore the books were way less accessible, especially to the lower class. So when the printing press was invented, books became cheaper and more available to all classes. This allowed for a smarter society with much more learning. As a result of spread of cheaper books, the commoners were given the ability to change their social status. Before, only the upper class could afford books or any education for their children. But with cheaper books, everyone had the opportunity to get an education. They had the opportunity to climb in the social ladder. For example, Michelangelo and da Vinci were both not born in the upper class, but they used their education and their artistic features to rise up in social status. As the art was expanding throughout the northern states of Europe, an idea was also spreading. This idea was humanism, which is a cultural movement that turned away from medieval scholasticism and revived an interest in ancient Greek and Roman thoughts. During the times of peace in the other parts of Europe, the ideas of humanism spread. The new values of people during the Renaissance were focused on mobility, self-reliance, imagination, and creativity. Mobility and creativity resulted in different artistic forms being introduced and, tho and those influences being spread throughout Europe. Self-reliance made men and women in the Renaissance value individualism a lot more. They put a greater emphasis on their own needs. Francesco Petrarca, considered the father of humanism, spent a lot